Hey guys, this is Joel and Christy for Adventures on the Long Run, and we are coming to you today. We're already in Daytona Beach, but this is our road trip to uh, to the Boston Marathon, to Boston, and our first stop this morning is going to be... That's right, Bucky's. You got to stop at Bucky's anytime you pass by. So we're going to give you some video in there and kind of let you know what, we, um, what we're what we taking out of there. I want you to know it's not just a... Uh, convenience store they do have like hats and they got shirts and they got uh, all kinds of things and really since it's a uh, close to the beach they have uh, not all of them have this but um, they have bathing suits uh, they have uh, sun hats over here they've got swim gear things like all that they've got um, got your flip-flops over here and your boat shoes and all kinds of things that you can that you can do here um, it really is a it really is a one-stop shop for a lot of things and they they really um formulate these things to where um to, to the town they're in so like here like the one in houston wouldn't necessarily have beach things but this one does because it's uh, uh about a mile from the beach so um that's kind of how it is and you got some totes over here got some beach chairs a lot of things got some coolers down here uh, a lot of things, anything you'd really ever think about getting, you can get it here at Bucky's. When I get here, I always make a beeline for the icy drinks. We used to have icy Coke, and then they had icy Pepsi. You now they have, the only one I really like now here is the uh, frozen icy Dr. Pepper. I'm going to get one of those. All right, so here's what we're dealing with here. We got... Uh, we didn't buy any snacks, just nope, breakfast food. Because we have snacks in the back. Uh, we got a sausage and cheese croissant. Oh, that's hot. We got a brisket and egg taco. And we got a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. We're going to try these out for you. Uh, we will say uh, one, okay, for me, one of them, this will sound crazy, but one of my favorite thing about things about Bucky's was something that I would never show you. It's the actual bathrooms. They are clean. Yep. They keep an attendant in the, in, in the bathroom, and there's probably like 50 or 60 stalls in, in each, like in the women's room, and probably the same for men's, I don't know. Uh, but, but they keep an attendant in there who's constantly going from one stall to the next, cleaning up yep. so that you're having a clean bathroom when you come. Uh, so that's great. Um, I was a little disappointed about the coffee because they used to have... Uh, flavored creamers there, all kinds, even like almond and um, and coconut creamers and stuff like that that were non-dairy. They did not have any of that. And uh, now it's all just um, milk. Like oh. they have whole milk, half and half, um, and skim, maybe I don't know. And then just flavored syrups. So I kind of wish they would like because. I liked using the non-dairy creamers like the almond and coconut ones. They do have like the powdered non-dairy creamer stuff, but I don't use that. But right, so anyway. There's the biscuit taco. Kind of, some of the feeling kind of falling out a little bit. But yeah. I've never had their brisket here, but it's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. They're really good. Sorry for the noise. All right, so all done with breakfast, and I will say the brisket is really, really good. You gotta, it's an art to cook brisket well and it not come out tough. Um, and that was, that was pretty good. I was seasoned well, and um, so the brisket taco is pretty good. I was kind of, that was probably the thing I was dreading the most because um, the, uh, the tortilla was a little soggy. Obviously, it's going to be soggy because it's wrapped up in, in um aluminum foil with um uh you know all the heat and everything and the moisture and it's going to make it a little soggy but it was it was better than i thought it was going to be cool. you, weren't, you weren't a fan no but i'm not a huge brisket fan i'm not okay. a huge barbecue sauce fan there was barbecue in it wasn't there mm -mm. no i don't think so just some seasoning i don't, I don't so. know i'm not a huge brisket fan <laughs> heard yeah the uh what do you think of the the biscuit that's pretty good uh, the biscuit was golden on both sides which is 
uh, to me, how a biscuit should be, it should never look like they should have put it back in the oven for longer. Yeah. It should be golden brown, and that was it was really good. Um, they do use scrambled eggs, and I wish yeah. they would use like a whole egg. That's the only like a whole fried yeah, egg, and that was of, that was kind of the drawback too with the yeah. croissant. It, it doesn't um, taste bad. It's just it, it's, it's just messy. It's messy. Yeah. So. That's how, like we got scrambled eggs all over the car now. <laughs> yeah. So. So there you go. So that was it. And, uh, he uh, also had the croissant, which yeah. would be the same thing, except he had a croissant instead of a biscuit. Right. And it was pretty good. Uh, I was pretty pleased with that. Um, we got the big coffee because it's coffee. Yep. And you know, I got the, I already was, told you I got the. And I did very good at putting it together. Yep. <laughs> All right. So now we're moving on to our next stop is going to be, well, we're not, I'm going to tell you what the next stop is going to be, but it's going to be in Georgia. And uh, it's a very interesting spot. So we will see you on up the road. <laughs> so we're at our first attraction. Uh, and it's called the smallest church in America. It's somewhere around Newport, uh, Georgia, just off Interstate 95, really about a mile off I-95. And uh, it really is the smallest church in America. You'll see this. Um, but the total cost to come to this, see? Zero dollars. Zero dollars. That's correct. You can stop off the highway and um, and see this for free. All right, so we're gonna head on into the church here. You got some, you got a little uh, statue back there. You got some kind of like some monuments here. Little things there. And then over here, there's a little statue. And then, this is it. This is literally the smallest church in America. Now, it is under video surveillance, uh, and you're going to see here, it says it back there where you drive in. And then also here, and also here, it says, smile, you're on camera. The plaque here, this is a bell. And it says, may this bell ring out uh, as praise to the Lord, our offering and dedication of our union, Wayne and Tony Moeller, January 1st, 1998. Uh, and then it quotes Psalm 33, 22, let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. All right, so let's walk on in. I have to take my sunglasses off because I can't see. All right, here we go. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are 12 seats in here. And you have people that's left notes there. Here too. And on the other side as well. We'll get those coming back out. Yep. Then you got the pool back right here. Oh. This is pretty cool. And coming back out here, got a little painting right there, and then some more notes that people have left. If you're looking for oddball things to do that are kind of not your normal things, just we just did a search um, on the internet, just did a Google search, and this came up. Um, weird things, oddball, not oddball things, but just what did you say? out of the way things to do on, on I-95. And this was one of the first ones that came up. A lot there's a lot of things between um, between Miami and Maine. Um, we didn't get on I-95 until Daytona, so we didn't really want to do anything until we got to um, past Jacksonville into Georgia. And this was our first stop. Can you look up weird attractions? I always look up roadside attractions. Yeah, weird attractions, roadside attractions, roadside attractions anything like that that's out of the 
out of the norm. Um, there are things you can look at, and it doesn't cost you anything to um, to do them either. So it's a quaint little spot here. Yep. And right over there across the way is the South Newport Baptist Church. And I assume they're not connected because this says non-denominational. Right, correct. Stopping for lunch, uh, we're right around Savannah, Georgia, and we're at, um, we're gonna stop at the uh, Cracker Barrel. We haven't been to Cracker Barrel in a while, so we're gonna try her out. All right, so here's what we're dealing with here. I got the chicken fried chicken, turnip things. We actually got the old timer's breakfast. We got some basket of biscuits there. Old -timer. And some, she got some apples with that too. And there's some small little gravy there. And that's what we're doing. All right, so we made it to south of the border, which is um, just south of the uh, North Carolina, South Carolina line. All right, here, the big sombrero. It doesn't look like a sombrero from, from there, but that's what it is. So it's a big area where you've got arcades, and uh, this is Pedro's Mexico shop. we got a couple of uh, restaurants here. Um, things on both sides of the street. Yeah. Um, Firework stand, uh, Polanco's restaurant over there. Yeah. Polanco's is the bar, Sombrero is the restaurant. Right there, okay. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Big gorilla over there, right there. Yep. Weird stuff. So we made it into um, Mexico gift shop. You never saw such such a place. You're always a winner at Pedro's, south of the border. So they got some hats. I tried on one of these, but Christy told me no. <laughs> I hadn't looked at myself. She just told me no, not no. They're not for me. We'll find you a hat. Yeah. That's just not it. So how do I look in it? Good. Got some fedoras over here. There's You're more a, of a baseball cap. There's right? a camel with a wig on. He's over here, carousel, um, uh, bumper cars. There's, looks like there's bouncy houses there. Um, and a um, mini golf course over there. But when we got here, it says closed, no admittance. So, I don't know if it's a seasonal thing or if it's closed for good or what, but um, it was closed today and we didn't, uh, we didn't get to do anything here at Childhood Border or we, other than just go in um, the um, store and look at stuff. The store and look at Mexican <laughs> stuff. So. This is the um, Sombrero Tower there from a distance. We're looking at it from, the, um, from where we're at at the amusement rides there in the, the mini golf park, but you can see it's a, it does look like a sombrero there. So. There you go, you can see it from the interstate. So here's what we're dealing with. This is a Cajun chicken pasta. And then loaded cheese fries. And we're going to share these two. Um, we, weren't, we weren't both really hungry because we had a pretty big dinner at Cracker Barrel. Pretty good lunch at Cracker Barrel. This is today, so. more food than we thought it yeah, was going to be. A little more than we thought it was going to be. So anyway, um, we're going to share this. and. This is our dinner for tonight. We stopped at Ruby, Ruby Tuesdays just across the street from our hotel. All right, so we stayed at the Country Inn and Suites last night in... Um, we were tired when we got here. Fayetteville, North Carolina. Yeah, we didn't show the room last night because we were wore out. Wore out. We were wore out. All right, there I am. Uh, yep, and then you got the bathroom there. And then... Y'all know bathrooms. Big mirror. Yeah, y'all know the bathroom. Y'all know what they look like. Got a microwave. Uh, fridge. Mini fridge. Television, got the desk over there, got the bed there. Yeah, it's pretty good. It was $136. Um, not too bad. And um, it came within our budget. So. Yeah, it, it's yeah. Uh, some of the furniture just needs to be updated or yeah. something like that. Like the, ref the refrigerator has dips in the thing, but otherwise, not bad. Not too bad. We were actually just needing a bed for the night, and that's what we got. And <laughs> pretty pleased with that. So, all right, now it's on to um, Washington, D.C. All right, so we came to Bojangles. This is day two, the morning of day two. We came to Bojangles for breakfast because we didn't really um, 
like the options at the hotel. Um, that's usually the case. They had waffles and things. Sausages look decent. But the eggs were, you know, those watery eggs like you get at hotels. So, uh, we came here to uh, Bojangles. Uh, Chris got a Cajun chicken biscuit. I got a country on biscuit with some potato fried, potato rounds, uh, Dr. Pepper, and she got a Coke. All right, let's dig in. All right, so we're coming to Ann Pizza for lunch since we made it into Washington, D.C. All right, so we got into Washington, D.C., and we came to this uh, place called Ann Pizza. Uh, it's on E Street, and um, we tried to get some pizza here, and this is what we're dealing with. It is uh, totally with just the two drinks. Which, just a little 22 bucks. All right, so we got here to lunch, and we were going to do the, after lunch, we were going to do the uh, National Archives, uh, but the, the wait was almost like two hours to get in. Uh, so we're going to try to do that maybe on the way back through after the race. Uh, so this is the, and this is the Washington Monument here, and then come over here. It's the Capitol Building over there. And then to the other side of the Washington Monument down here is going to be the Lincoln Memorial. We're, we're not going to walk down there. Uh, we're probably going to go ahead and make our, make our way on to Philly. But, um, but yeah, we're here on the National Mall in uh, Washington, D.C. All right, so we got a room here at the Pennsview Hotel uh, in Philadelphia. And um, we are about a half a mile from Independence Hall, Liberty Bell, all that uh, historical area there. Uh, kind of in the center of old, old town, old city, uh, Philadelphia. Um, we didn't really know what to expect. Uh, we saw the pictures online, didn't really know what to expect when we got here, but it seems like a pretty, pretty nice area. Uh, kind of, kind of bougie up in here, up in this hotel. Um, most of the hotels around here were running about three, four hundred dollars a night. And we got this one for 182, uh, plus tax was about 207. Um, got the bed there, TV's up in there. Got a nice desk over there. And then... I don't normally show you all the bathrooms, but it's got a nice jet tub over there. <laughs> be nice. Uh, be nice to have that after the marathon, but. Then it won't be staying in Philadelphia, though. No. <laughs> we will not. All right, so that's our hotel. We'll be staying here tonight, checking out tomorrow, and tomorrow we'll be heading towards Boston. Okay, for breakfast this morning, we went to Wawa. Isn't that funny? It's two feet from our house. <laughs> not two feet, what, like a half a mile. A mile, something like that. And here we are in Philadelphia, still going to Wawa. But anyway, um, we just got some little bakery items. Joel got a Coke, and I got an iced coffee. And it was $13.42, which is cheaper than what we would have spent probably if we'd have done a yeah. sit-down kind of breakfast restaurant kind of thing. So here we are. That's what we got. All right, so we made it to Independence Hall. We're not going to be able to get into the room where it happened, if you know, you know. Uh, but because uh, we weren't able to secure tickets, there's only like 20 available for each slot. They drop them at 5 p.m. and they're gone like in minutes. So uh, we weren't able to get in, but uh, we did get here and we're going to try to tour the Congress section, the Congress building over here where Washington and John Adams were both inaugurated. Um, it's a first come, first serve, walk in only no tickets no reservations required but there you go first time seeing that it's pretty cool so we did the tour of congress hall um it was free um and it took about about 20 minutes to go through it we got and to by see the way guided tour so we had yeah. our own person talking to us yeah it was just us two in the tour uh with our own uh guided our own guide to, to give us all the facts and everything so in this building uh, was on the second floor in the Senate chamber was um, um, Washington's second uh, inauguration uh, swearing in and then on the first floor in the uh, in the house chamber was where the first uh, peaceful transition of power took place between presidents uh, between Washington and John Adams we are headed into the Liberty Bell so the Liberty Bell was named, it was actually, the, 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 in this beginning, was the State House Bell uh, for Pennsylvania, which was in the State House, which is where, which is now Independence Hall. Uh, and so it rang up there for a while until it cracked and they had to replace it. 
uh, but it was named by abolitionists uh, in the early 1800s uh, as the Liberty Bell uh, for seeing uh, freedom and liberty for everyone. All right, so we're headed over to the Christ Church burial ground where Benjamin Franklin's grave is located. Right, so this is Benjamin Franklin's grave. Uh, you can get into the cemetery. Uh, it's a five dollar charge uh, for the tour. We didn't take that. We just put our cameras to the bars here and filmed the grave. And saved ourselves ten bucks. There are five or four other signers buried here but he's probably the most notable signers of the uh, constitution but he's probably be the most notable one all right so we decided not to do the national constitution center there's a it is a uh reserved ticketed event uh ticketed place uh so we decided not to do that since we do have to get back out and get to the hotel and get checked out because uh, you have you actually have reserved times to go in there from what the tickets were saying so um so yeah this is the national constitution center and yeah it's been a pretty interesting trip to uh, uh to philadelphia i'm glad we I'm glad we made the stop uh, we made it to the um, the famous rocky statue uh which was during the movies the rocky three and four it sat on top of the, the um, steps there at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. And they moved it down here so that people come by and take pictures of you. And so that's where we are. <laughs> so we've now made it to the uh, Philadelphia Museum of Art. Uh, these are the iconic steps that Rocky ran up in uh, Rocky <laughs> to, the, to the famous song. And uh, I'm going to run up some of them, not all of them. And then we'll show you the view from the top of the steps as Rocky looked back out over the city of Philadelphia. Alright, so here we are. We've made it to the top of the steps of the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Uh, same place where Rocky Balboa vs. Sloan stood in the movie Rocky when he ran up those iconic steps. Alright, we made it to uh, Gino's uh, Stakes uh, in, uh, in Philadelphia. It's, it's right across from Pat's. So right across from each other. Friendly rivalry has been going on for years. Uh, but these are the, probably the two most iconic uh, cheesesteaks uh, areas in uh, Philadelphia. Alright, so one more hotel night before we get to Boston. Um, we don't check in to our Boston hotel until Saturday at 4. So we knew we were going to be three nights coming up here in the hotel. And so we thought we were going to get up into Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and maybe into Maine tonight. But traffic through New York City was brutal. And Connecticut. And Connecticut. So uh, we didn't. We got into Warwick, Rhode Island, which is about an hour and a half, two hours outside of Boston. And we're going to stay here for the night. Uh, this is the room. Got a big old couch right there. Uh, I'm assuming that's a double king bed. <laughs> it's a king size bed. It's pretty big. Yeah. Uh, actually bigger than the one we slept in last night. So. And it was made up better than this. But yeah, we already turned the sheet down to make sure, to make sure everything was okay. clean. So, yeah. Uh, pretty big TV right there. And got your bed uh, lamps there. Got some plugs and some USBs right there. Pretty nice, and got a refrigerator, um, got a coffee bar, microwave right there. Pretty cool area for your suitcases, and there's your closet area. It's the bathroom. Hey guys, and then you got a stand-up shower. We don't see those very often in hotels, but this is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty nice room. Pretty, 
pretty pleased with that. We just um, booked this one from Rhodes. This one only I only when I only night I didn't book in advance. Uh, and I'm glad I didn't because we would not have made it to New Hampshire tonight. Uh, Chrissy booked this one while I was driving, and uh, it's a pretty nice room. Good job. Thank you. All right. All right, so I went to uh, got into Wally Cello's uh, Cello's hometown wine room, and I got the smash burger. It's got fried pickles on it. Yeah, fries. And then she got some clam cakes and clam chowder. So she decided she wanted to eat as New Englanders do, and I did not. <laughs> okay, so we made it into Boston. And now we are headed over to. Um, we know where the group uh, that we're um, staying with. Uh, we're headed over to the expo. So we're going to catch the, the train at the MIT station, and we're going to head over to the uh, to the expo at uh, in Top of Square. Boston, we made it back to uh, Washington, D.C., and we're going to eat breakfast in uh, Lincoln's Park. So. Okay, so we made it back to the archives, the National Archives, and they don't open until 10. It's, it's a little before 9 now. There's no line started, um, so um, hopefully we'll be able to get in this time. All right, so we did get into uh, the National Archives. The, um, um, the pro tip is to get here early when it opens. Yeah. You go right in before the school groups get here. Yep. Uh, we were in there by, uh, it opened at 10, we were in by 10.10. 10. Uh, we went straight up, the, the, one of the um, security guards told us to um, go on up to the rotunda. There's a couple of exhibits downstairs, uh, but he said going up to the rotunda, there's nobody up there yet. You don't want to wait until the school groups come in. And we were, that was correct because when we came out of the rotunda, we went to the restroom and came back out, and there were like a school group of about 100 kids in there. And um, so we got to see the documents uh, yeah, pretty gonna, easily. I was going to say, that's what's in the rotunda is the yeah. actual documents so yeah. <laughs> that you go in for. Yeah. We got to see all that. And that was pretty cool. That's our first time to see the, um, the founding documents given to the National Archives. So that was pretty cool. And now we're headed on south. Yes. By the way, they don't let you film in there, so we no got no filming, footage so we of that. No filming, so we got no footage of that. Yeah. So, if you're a National Treasure Freak, then um, that probably didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe it did. I don't know. It would be hard to believe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we stopped for lunch outside of Richmond, just south of Richmond, Virginia, at a place called Don Pepe. And this is what we're eating with. All right, so this will be the last night uh, of a hotel in our hotel for us on this trip, and uh, we're staying at the uh, we're staying at the Globe by Best Western. Um, Seems like I've had a decent hotel. Um, it's a newer kind of Best Western hotel, so more hip maybe. But um, <laughs> it's glowing. Yeah, it's glowing. It was glowing outside. There's some lights out there that were glowing. Anyway, that's where we're staying tonight, and we've got about four and a half more hours. Uh, maybe five, depending on if we stop for anything. Okay, so this will be the last night, and um, we got about four and a half hours home, four and a half to five hours uh, to get home tomorrow. Um, before we have to return to the rental car tomorrow night. All right, we'll see you in the morning. So here's what we got in Bucky's. This is our last meal on the road. Yep. Uh, I got a, a chopped brisket sandwich. This I'm not a the, brisket person, really. She got so. the club melt. Yeah, so and that'll then be new. We got a buy four, get two free of the chocolate uh, fudge of the fudge. Yeah, not chocolate not fudge just chocolate, specifically. But, Let's uh, open the box. We got. Um, this is mint. Mint. Mint chocolate. Excuse yeah. me. Um, sorry, peanut the butter, essential benign trimmer showing out. Peanut butter chocolate. That's peanut butter chocolate. That is um, red, uh, velvet. red velvet. Red velvet. M&M. M &M, cooking cream and sugar free chocolate. Yep, and uh, like we said, we, uh, we're we probably going to end up putting most of this, some of this in the freezer or something like that. 
Also, we got this one specifically for our son, so yep. um, that M&M. So this is not just us eating all this fudge by ourselves, and right. we'll be putting some in the freezer or refrigerator. That so. is correct. Yeah. And then I got a, a icy Dr. Pepper, and she had a fountain drink. Yeah, so that's a cane sugar version of cream soda. All right. So there you go. That's our last meal on the road. Yep. All right, so all through at lunch now, and um, what do you think of your um, uh, That was really good. Milk? It was huge, though, so I wasn't able to finish it all, but yeah. it's is really good. Um, I'll be taking that home. <laughs> the um, the brisket, the chopped brisket that I had, it was good. The brisket was really good. It was kind of a barbecue flavor, um, but the bun wasn't toasted, and uh, also it was a little more bread to meat ratio the bed the bread ratio to meat was a little more than i really wanted yeah <laughs> it's a little it's a little bready i will say the price of these those two items were a lot <laughs> but yeah, they, i wouldn't say that you wouldn't spend the same amount if you like went to a fast food place for life yeah it's 849 for my sandwich and 899 for mine 899 for hers so and they they were huge they weren't small yeah um, they were, yeah big sandwiches yeah yeah i mean but Considering we bought that and fudge and two drinks, uh, we still got out for less than forty dollars, and yep. the fudge by itself yep. was fifteen, probably. All right. So um, now let's talk about the fudge. Yeah, um, cookies and cream was good. It's not as good as the one Christy makes. Uh, it wasn't as um, vanilla-y as the one Christy makes. A lot it, was, of make, it was good. A lot of people make it with white chocolate chips, and that was probably what they did. Yeah, the red velvet was good. I mean, it was you know it's fine. Um, they, they were all they were all fine. The M and M, we didn't really get M and M's out of yeah. it because, uh, but we that know was what just the piece. Like. That was just the piece that I cut. I, there wasn't any M and M in it, but there's M and M's in it. Yep. Like you can see, even down in lower layer layers, there are. Is just we were just getting a little piece of it, and it just had chocolate. But we really got that for our son. We didn't want to eat too much of it. Yeah. Um, and then the red velvet was good. Mm-hmm. The peanut butter chocolate was so good. Peanut butter taste. Mm. And then the mint. Mint chocolate was like eating a York peppermint patty. So good. Yeah. <laughs> I said, taste the sensation. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then the chocolate, uh, sugar-free chocolate was really good. Uh, had a light taste. Not It didn't have like a fake sugar taste to it, which is really good. So if you're looking for an option because you need to... Uh, maybe you're diabetic or something. Um, that was really good taste to it, I thought. So I, hmm. I think that in in the future, if I was going to get some fudge from here, I would be completely happy with getting like one of the squares of sugar-free chocolate. All right, yeah. well, that's our review of our lunch at Bucky's. Yep. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on this road trip uh, to Boston for the Boston Marathon. If you want to check out the video of the things that we did uh, related to the marathon. Click this video right here. It's from our other channel, The Long Run with Joel and Christy. That's where that video is going to be. It'll take you over there. You can video that. You can you can click that as well. But thank you for joining us. We've uh, we truly enjoyed the trip. It was a great trip. And um, hey, we will also have a video where we talk about how much this trip cost us. Yeah, so if absolutely. You're curious about how much money we actually spent doing all these things that we just done? Be sure yep. to check that out. It'll be coming up in a week or two. There you go. And so um, uh, don't forget to click that video. Uh, this is Joel and Christy for for Adventures on the Long Run. <laughs> What's the name of our channel? <laughs> Adventures on the Long Run. <laughs> so we're Joel and Christy for Adventures on the Long Run. And don't forget, life is a journey. Get out and enjoy it.